Up, Up and Away. Last month when we were uh, up live in Prescott. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, at the lake up there. Yeah. Lynx Lake. Lynx Lake. Uh, if you remember, I these women were amazing. We met some of the women competing in the Air Race Classic at Embry-Riddle. They're women pilots. They show off their skills in the air. Well, the competition is happening right now, and those women are making their way to Florida. There's some serious girl power happening right now. Miles good. More than 100 women pilots are making their way to Florida. Oh, yeah. 55 teams covering 2,700 miles in the 40th annual Air Race Classic. I'm doing it again because the first time was so, so much fun and so exciting. So I'd love to just keep going, hopefully, until I'm one of those little old ladies at the, at the end. <laughs> Women from 17 to 90 years old are competing, and Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University is where it started. The teams of five include four students and one instructor. The race tests their skills in the air and ability to make critical decisions while flying. Terrain and everything is completely different than your normal 250 cross country. You're going 250 and you're multiplying that by about seven to nine. So it's just an amazing experience and you can't get that at just your home airport. The race is one of the oldest of its kind in the U.S. and even has ties to Amelia Earhart. I've been a pilot for many years. I flew in the last Powder Puff Derby, which was a Smithsonian uh, a commemorative flight in 1977 from Palm Springs to Tampa, Florida. When I was in flight school, I was the only woman in the flight school class in 1966. And now it's definitely interesting to see all of us together, uh, different backgrounds, some students, some airline pilots, and some ladies. I met one who's older lady just becoming a private pilot right now. Um, so it's a, definitely a community of aviators that I didn't know was out there, and it's nice to have that, uh, and it shows that. Yeah, we're here and we're the 6% of pilots, but we're here. I think it shows that we can do pretty much anything just like, you know, the guys can. They've dominated this industry and we're slowly making our way in. Oh, good for them. What an experience, right? Yeah. Uh, so the women should arrive in Florida tomorrow or Saturday. And the thing with this, even though it's called a race, mm -hmm. they're not racing against time. I mean, they have a time frame, but it's not like they have to do so many miles, you know, each day. They just right. know how to, they just have to have it done by a certain time. So it's not per se like to go as fast as you can, if right. you will. They want so to do it like safely a... and do legs of it uh, in a, a safe fashion, yeah. I guess. The, yeah, I guess the way that they find safe and reasonable mm -hmm. yeah, and works exactly. for them. Exactly, but pretty inspiring. And they're all so young. I know. It's, it's awesome. It, yeah, great it, story. It was great.